Run to accounting and ask them any question you can come up with about the budget. That'll justify our presence here. As for us, Colonel Marshall, we're heading to the command station. Senator Sheridan's delegation has just arrived. Yes, Mr. President. The President's advisor will see you now. After you, Senator. Welcome to SSH-1, Senator Sheridan. Hello, Calvin. Splendid of you to see us. There's a bit of a problem, Walter. Colonel Marshall cannot accompany us. I have strict orders from President Galbraith. But I... Our staff is overworked, sir. The President prefers sparing them any added aggravation. I apologize, Colonel Marshall. Let's go, Sheridan. Operations are about to be launched. Find another way in. I'll walk you out, Colonel. Good day, Colonel. Da, ba, ba. Oh, uh, uh, good evening, Colonel. Thank <laughs> you. 
Oh! by the spads? Yeah, one of their units is already downstairs. Are you serious? I didn't see them go by. Notify Wax. I don't feel like dealing with them. What the? Brain is requested at the command post. Senator Sheridan's already been through the second floor. He and his staff are now heading for the next level. Advisor Wax has just left. He must have reached the president by now. Yes, sir, Major. Impossible to get through to the ground floor. Same for level one. Nothing unusual to report from the command station. Galbraith is about to give the green light. Hello? Douglas here. I can't reach the
What is Sheridan doing in SSH-1 during an election campaign? This is sheer provocation. My bodyguards. <clears throat> As a matter of fact, sir. Just a second, Calvin. Give me some change. Mr. President, sir, the spats have been assigned to your protection for the duration of total red. Those hotheads? Confound it! Not one machine on this base works. But, Mr. President. Nothing but the dregs of society recruited by McCall. Mr. President. But if you feel they're the best, Calvin, I trust you. All personnel, man your stations. 